Hi, my name is Ian Forsyth from VP Toolkit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an already existing end display config with the VP Toolkit plugin widgets. First, we're going to go to the plugins folder. If you don't see the plugins folder, you may have to go into settings and then enable show plugin content. We're going to go to the VP Toolkit studio content widgets, and then you'll see a frustum widget and a stage widget. You'll just want to right click those and hit run at your utility widget. Do that for both of them, and then they should fire up. Uh, now I've moved my frosting widget into this position and my stage widget into this position. Once those widgets have been fired up, you'll see that it says no config found. Create, add, or set up VPT root config, and then on older versions, it will just be blinking in the left corner here saying VP Toolkit plugin no config found. So that means that uh, your current end display config is not set up to talk to the VP Toolkit plugin, or you may not have an end display config set up in your project. So the easy way to fix that is to go into your end display config or find your end display config in the content browser. So we're just going to open that. We're going to go to class settings, and then over on the right, you'll see parent class. Right now it's set to end display root config. We're going to change this to VPT root config. And then now you'll see a uh, little floor align mesh circle at the bottom there. Compile, save. So now your widget should recognize your end display. If you don't have a frustum camera selected, you may want to go into the config menu and select your ICPFX component and then select which actor you'd like to use as your cinema camera. So now you're able to use all of the features of the plugin. What we'd recommend to do next is to build a level configuration. So to build a level configuration, I'm actually going to delete the end display config out of my level, but we'll still have it in the content browser. Now we have a clean level that doesn't have an end display config in it. So I'm going to go to the levels management. I'm going to select new for stage level. And then for config type, I'm going to select user. So I'm going to select the config that I had in the level, and then I'm going to make a copy of that. So that's going to take your end display config that is in your project, and it's going to copy it to the user folder of the plugin. So now we can choose to add a frustum camera. I'm just going to label this setup. Now, when you're using this on a project, you want to make sure that you put your production's name here. Uh, this could be a simple, like, Beach or you know the actual brand's name, whatever word or two words that you're using to describe the project that you're working on. I'm just going to make mine set up. And then we can hit build levels. And it's going to double check to make sure that we've confirmed everything. And then if I go back to my levels tab and scroll down, you'll see select environment levels. Now I'm going to select the LED curve stage, but this could be any environment that you have in any project. So this is this will be your environment level. Once I've added that, we now have a new configuration with our LED wall stage connected to a frustum camera. And now everything lives within the users folder of the plugin. This makes it so that we can bring the plugin from project to project and not have to duplicate projects to use our end display config. If you need help setting up your stage or working on an in-camera VFX virtual production, let us know, reach out, we're here to help. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.